Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I'm going to combine these two into one because one's very short. Do you remember when I put up a video several months back for a pastor, Dave, in Michigan? He does homeless ministry, plus he has his own YouTube channel. Okay, well, I got a request here from... Uh, our sister Tessa, she's asking for, uh, well, it, let me just click on the link. There's a very short video up that says emergency prayers for Pastor Dave um, on Monday, May 10th, two weeks ago. He went into the hospital to have surgery to reconstruct his colon and rectum so he could get rid of his ostomy and it was an ostomy reversal which is a good thing then you're back to normal two days later serious complications set in yeah probably under attack or I hate to say it he had serious complications when he had it done the first time of course, he might have put it off too long. You know, we tend to, we believe Jesus is going to heal and all that. And I don't know if that's what he did. I'm just saying. Either that or it's it's his serious attack. But anyway, it, it ends with saying, Church, please pray for Pastor Dave and Christy. All right? I'll put the link in if you want to read all that yourself. But it's 42 seconds and that's the end of it. It is on Pastor Dave's channel, The Coming Herpazzo. Okay, then in, in my email, it was uh, holding this for later. I was looking at some videos. Man, I just watched one that would blow your mind. I can't copy. It's on BitChute. Um, I hate to throw that in with this stuff. But anyway, I wanted to... Um, do this get, share these messages uh, with you uh, from Dawn's email from yesterday I saved it because I thought uh, I believe every one of them um, let me make sure Yeah, these are all good ones. So, okay. Now, this first one is a vision. It's not a word. It's a vision from Marsha Burns. So, she still calls it Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. I saw in a vision an ancient Roman Colosseum with God's people being rounded up to be fed to the lions. It seemed very sad and hopeless until the Spirit of the Lord came in, came in power to shut the mouths of the lions. And I heard the Lord say, just as in ancient times, the enemy has rounded up many of my people to be destined to destruction. But I am present to shut the mouth of the enemy and keep him from devouring you. And the blessings I have appointed for this time in your life. Keep your eyes on me. For I am your great deliverer and savior. Okay? From the biggest of lions to the tiniest of viruses, Jesus can keep us from them. Got it? Okay. For those of you who missed it in my last video, I put... My channel name is now Truther 2.0, formerly Jeannie Loves Jesus. All right, the per, uh, prescription, listen to me. The scripture put with this is 
2 Samuel 22, 1 through 4. Then David spoke to the Lord the words of this song. On the day when the Lord had delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my savior. You save me from violence. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Okay, this next one I have not seen in addition to the newsletter or prophecy letter from Doug Addison in like months. But listen to this. And it's just a one line, a one sentence, no two. I heard the Lord say, do not focus on the attacks, but in the midst of the storm, you are going to see my light. I am making a way in the wilderness. And that was again given to Doug Addison. He received that. It doesn't, it's probably yesterday or the day before. It's not dated. All right, this next one was dated May 22nd and says, wait a minute, I thought today was the 22nd. No, it's the 23rd. I can't keep the day straight. It is not good for anyone to keep Satan uppermost in their mind. He would love to receive that kind of notoriety, but it is not something you want to do. Nevertheless, it is good to be alert to his wiles. He wants to destroy you as well as your good name and influence. Yes, he does. He bombards your mind with thoughts that are designed to bring you down to his level. Resist him with my word. That, that's the Bible. Hebrews 4, 12 and 13 says in the New King James Version, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. And that was by Bev Robinson, or given to Bev Robinson. Or should I say received by, yeah, received by Bev Robinson. Okay, the next one, same date. You have prepared yourself for what is quickly approaching. Because you have duly devoted yourself to me, your spiritual sensitivity and awareness is increasing exponentially. It should be. It may not be for everybody. It may be he may have gotten it for himself, but believes there are others who would benefit from this message. Because I'm praying for this, and I don't, 
you know, I don't think I'm, I want more. <laughs> I want more. I want it exponentially. Okay, so don't think that just because you're not there, like I'm thinking that, that it's not from God. It could have been just for him. But he wanted to share it in case others were going through it too. Let me start over. You have prepared yourself for what is quickly approaching. Because you have duly devoted yourself to me, your spiritual sensitivity and awareness is increasing exponentially. You know signs and wonders are coming which will lead to an abundant harvest of lost souls. I see you need to know this is for the first fruits right there. We're not going to be able to do this in our fleshly bodies. That much I know. All right. Also, coming are those who will mock, berate, and threaten you like Goliath did to God's people. They've been doing that, haven't they? But the warfare is not carnal. Rest in knowing who and whose you are. Know who you are in Christ. You are mightily equipped for what is ahead. Okay, again I say, not yet. But it may be he didn't want to give him... It, he gives this one a little, and this one a little, and that one a little, and some of us know there's two raptures. Some are saying three. They, you know, I don't know. All I know is the Lord told me two, you know, and the first fruits are not a very big group, 144,000. Now he chose not to tell him that, you know, he doesn't give any of us the whole the whole message okay so let's see here's the scripture he added and it's psalm 46 verses 8 through 10 and it's in the message bible attention all see the marvels of god he plants flowers and trees all over the earth bands War from pole to pole. Breaks all the weapons across his knee. Step out of the traffic. Take a long loving look at me, your, your high God. Above politics, above everything. And this was received by Kevin Robinson. I, I, I can't, of course, Psalms, there's so many Psalms, I, I, and it being the Message Bible, I'm not, I can't relate, I have to look it up in my own version. All right, this is the last one, dated May 22nd. The anticipation you feel is not just a feeling. I have placed in you an expectancy for the signs, wonders, and miracles that are available to you as my child. Do these not all seem to go together? The world desires to see something real, but has settled for the counterfeit offered by the enemy. Yeah, and they ain't seen nothing yet. I have so much more. Increase your expectations of me because as you do, you will see an outpouring of my spirit that is unmatched in history. And that, I believe, will happen when the first fruits return to earth. 
however that happens. Whether we're put back in the past, that's how I understand it right now. There's some kind of loop in time that CERN is going to create. They've been working on time travel for years. They say Barack Obama was participated in it when he was a teenager. I saw that on a video years ago. Well, I say that like it was 20 years ago. I've been on YouTube like eight years. So probably, I don't know, six years ago, I guess. I don't know if it'd be still on here or not. They've cut out so many things. It's ridiculous. Oh, I didn't tell you I got another. I got a, a slap on the hand. They didn't kick me off for two more weeks. They went back. They must have these, uh, what is it, Collars for Dollars program that I reported on. Must have had people watching all my videos all the way back when something happened out in Las Vegas and I reported on it and, and it was nothing at all. Nothing hateful was said and I got in trouble for using hate speech and I'm like you all already gave me a strike on that way back in the be when it happened and now the callers for dollars must have found it and and I know if they find another something stupid they'll drag up like that Oh, well, that's why I wanted you to be sure to know. Uh, I don't think I'll be putting anything more up on YouTube. It'll all go to BitChute. Don't forget my name, Truther 2.0. All right. Where was I? I'm sorry, Lord. Let me do that one over. The anticipation you feel is not just a feeling. I have placed in you an expectancy for the signs, wonders, and miracles that are available to you as my child. The world desires to see something real, but has settled for the counterfeit offered by the enemy. I have so much more. Increase your expectations of me, because as you do, you will see an outpouring of my spirit that is unmatched in history. Yes, I remember. And I got into time travel and all that. Ephesians 3, 20 and 21 is the verse used uh, out of the NASB. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. And that was received by Jonas Bolin. And I pray that that encouraged you, blessed you, put a smile on your face, uh, whatever. I just, I just wanted to share those with you because I just feel the time is very close. I don't know how close, but I just can't help but feel it. From all the things going on. And anyway, I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us and all of our devices and our uh, internet connections as well. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.